Well, Joanne, to hear KSB showed up here at federal court about 9 o'clock this morning with his attorney to face some very serious charges. The FBI, as you mentioned earlier, said that just a couple of blocks away at his office, he was engaging in criminal activity, including extortion and bribery and then obstruction of justice. Today, he is uh, no longer a county employee. He is now a full-time defendant. Our cameras, as you said, were the only ones there when he came here to court. We asked him some questions, but as you'll see, he was not in a talking mood. The FBI says you used your county job to enrich to yourself, and then you tried to cover it up. What do you say about that? Do you want to apologize to the taxpayers, to the administration? Now, Casby will be in court. It's believed around 1 o'clock today. It might get started a little bit later. We'll be there for that. Uh, his subordinate, Zaid Alaban, also charged yesterday with trying to obstruct the FBI's investigation. He is not expected to be in court until maybe tomorrow or even perhaps next week. But when Casby shows up at court again at 1 o'clock, we will be there in the courtroom and bring you the latest on Action News at 5. Reporting live from downtown, I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. Joanne? Ross, we understand there have been some new resignations today as well? That's right. Uh, Georgetta Kelly, the county's HR director, submitted her resignation today. It's not clear whether or not it was related to what transpired yesterday, but a source tells me that she just seems fed up with how things have been run at the county lately. And also, we're expecting that her deputy, the deputy director of HR, Mark Dukes, will at some point submit his resignation. Uh, the hits keep coming here in Wayne County. Yeah, I don't think we've heard the end of it. That's for sure. Ross Jones reporting from downtown. Thanks very much, Ross.